All right, guys, we are looking at the uh, site I found the other day, which tracks pol politician, stock purchases, sales, trades, all that stuff, and the amount of time they trade. Also, uh, I liked on their site, this is, uh, this is one of many. There's like five out there that do the same thing. I like this one the best. It's Quiver Quantitative, and I've been following their tweets. And so I just saw they did this tweet over here looking at the um, – far right upper right they do a um, quiver quantitative has various strategies the long term on um, politicians purchases that which is way high their performance on that is these guys have inside information and they profit from it they also have this this is kind of funny that jim kramer clown on cnbc uh the guy's a total clown obviously you never listen to what he says do the opposite so I've always thought that, and I saw that these guys had an inverse Kramer strategy, doing the opposite of what the clown does on CNBC. So you can see it's up based on his, uh, based on everything Kramer recommends. You can see year one year they're up twenty four point seven three percent, and you know the recent thirty days are down too. You can see over here, but here's what's funny trying to get more into the crypto centric world here is uh, on January 9th, the clown Kramer tweeted good chance again, capital. He went, look at that. He went all caps, man. I mean, to go all caps, you're definitely doubling down. So he went all caps on again to get out of crypto. Good chance again to get out of crypto. All right. Good for you, Kramer. And people that have time to watch that guy, you're just wasting your life. Don't do it. Anyway, since then, Bitcoin, BTC, is up over 77% since January 9th. 77%. Double seven. Uh, yeah. So here's the performance, like I said, of the chart. And again, it just goes from the fact that every time I've looked at news articles on financial stuff, on holdings I have or crypto Equities, et cetera, it's always never worked out for me. If I say, oh, they need to sell, you need to sell, and you sell it, or there's bad news, you better sell before dividends, like NVIDIA. I recovered my money, I was down 30%, and then I was up 1,000, and then I see this Seeking Alpha article, sell, the dividends are coming out, it's not going to be good for NVIDIA. I sold it, I'm an idiot, and I should know better. And that just uh, reminded me to make this video. Then the thing spikes $100 per share. Unbelievable. I'm just sitting here going, oh my God. You know, do as I say, not as I do, right? Uh, learn from me, learn from my mistakes. And uh, if anything, don't listen to these clowns. Or the two thoughts are, you got this, pol this site following the po politician purchases. Watch them. Do your research on them. Why are they buying NVIDIA? Why are they buying uh, NGL, the energy stock or whatever? What's going on? They know stuff that you don't know. Again, I did buy NVIDIA last year uh, because I saw Pelosi bought it. And if I would have not done a done move and sold it based on some news article, uh, I'd be up really nicely right now. So it may work. It may not. Uh, as far as this inverse Kramer strategy, it appears to work. You are not negative for the year. You're up 20 25 percent right uh not a bad thing so again there's information out there in plain sight if you want to do your own research the the half hour hour whatever that that clown is on cnbc wasted watching that joker you could spend reading articles and looking around for stuff like like uh quiver quantitative or other sites that do politician purchase tracking or monitor the performance of other financial people you can be, you know, as much as them, and then it's your money. You care more about your own money than they do. So do your research. And my advice too is, if you're not, if you're, if you don't need the money, don't sell the stock. But now, having said that, look at this site. Politicians are dumping PayPal. They're selling their PayPal stock. Why? The Fed is coming out with its own money transfer system. It's going to charge pennies per transaction versus the 2.5% and up fees that PayPal charge to transfer your money around. So that's going to put these guys in a hurt. So yeah, what company would not switch over to the Fed's money transfer uh, system versus paying the higher fees of PayPal? So it's a good site to see what these guys are dumping, what these guys are buying, what Kramer's pushing. You do the opposite and you're going to do fine. I don't know. It's just, 
It's almost a cheat code to me, but again, you have to have critical thinking skills, be able to look at stuff and troubleshoot the data and just make your own decision based on what you want to do with your money. Don't listen to other people. Don't listen to me. I'm just giving you some tools out there, some data to maybe go out and you know, educate yourself. And uh, yeah, just remember, these guys don't know anything better than you. They just have more inside information. And now that, informa that information is basically now made public through tracking their suggestions, their purchases, etc. It's, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. Don't listen to other people. Do your own research. Have fun with it. It's interesting. Put put 10 bucks down on something like, you know, they're buying and see if it goes up. You know, I don't know. Just, just for fun. It's all entertainment. But here you go. Check it out. Follow these guys. Do a search on um, tracking stock purchases of politicians and you'll find the other sites as well. There's about four I found. I just like the layout, the user interface of these guys and their news sites. All right, and track them on Twitter. Track all the guys on Twitter, and uh, you'll have fun. All right, go forth, do great things. Peace out. Doh.